Welcome back to Gears 1 and cutscene time. Ashes, a fish in a barrel. Guess who's the fish? Mm, the phoenix, obviously. Well, it could be Alpha. Dog tags are gone. It says dog tags even though the, it's supposed to be cog tags. Is that the resonator? Nah. Now what? Let's get that resonator. Marcus. Control, this is Delta. No resonator. What do you think? Could be Alpha, or it could be the Locust setting a trap. There's only one way to know. Why would the Locust need to set this trap? The Locusts have established that they are at least somewhat intelligent, actually. Whoosh! So the humans are pretty wise to their moves, especially that they can appear pretty much out of nowhere. So they want to blindside the humans whenever possible. Especially in situations like that with the Troika. Um, yeah, sure. I will most certainly do that behind the freaking behind the freaking bus. Oh look, I have died in. Seriously, died. You are died in. No, I must live. <laughs> <laughs> Troikas are pretty powerful. You can only stand in their line of sight for like two seconds before they just mulch you to bits. And their bullet sponges do. Mind you, it's it's pretty obvious that the, that the enemies are going to be bullet sponges when you have 500 rounds for your machine gun. <laughs> Those 500 rounds will go pretty quickly in this yes. game. Ooh, oh, look, turret I section! Can't... I can actually turn it around! Get fitted! <laughs> I love the over-the-top gratuitous violence in this game. Now I'm full of Lancer ammo. I'm full of all ammo, in fact. Except for grenades. Try to active reload whenever possible, because active reloads give you more powerful bullets for a brief period. So, how does the active reload system work? You have to press... When, uh, first of all, you can only reload when you actually have bullets out of the clip after shooting. Um, you press RB to initiate the reload. Um, it makes the cursor go from the left to the right on the little bar, and you have to hit RB again to land the cursor into that tiny flashing range in order to get the active reload. Got it. If you fuck it up, then you get stunned for a brief period and you can't shoot. You don't get stunned, but you can't shoot. Do this. We're doing this already, Marcus. We're doing it live. There's no guitar chord to indicate that enemies have all died. So I love that they used the guitar chord to indicate that. There's another checkpoint. Yay! More ammo. Dust to dust. We should, honor a should we, Marcus? Because I distinctly remember you failed to get a cock tag in the first episode. So, does Marcus say nice every time he loots one of his uh, dead comrades' his bodies? He says a lot of things repeatedly throughout this game. <laughs> Especially when he loots the ammo of his fallen comrades. <laughs> no, that's nice, Marcus, but will you please help, help your comrades on the other side of the pillar? There seems don't to need... be more locusts coming that way. They don't, need... they don't need my help. They can't kill them. Not unless they have chainsaws. Actually, wait. No, that's not true. Um, you can get a game over if the locusts go up to your fallen comrades and curb stomp them. Because you spend most of the game with a four-member squad. Right. 
No, they're made of decaying earth, apparently. Hence why they take these... so many bullets. It's, um, especially because I haven't played the later Gears, I'm not sure the origin of the Locust. I love that they do, because it's perfect sequel bait to not disclose a lot of information about your story. It's true, but at the same time, you know, it makes the Locust pretty much just generic humanoids, at least for this title. But you need things to shoot! Yeah, but uh, can we at least have different varieties of things to shoot? Well, we as far as we've seen, we've only seen like two different varieties of Locust so far. Actually, we've only seen one variety of Locust so far. Really? This Locust Except doesn't count? The, the, the Troika is the name of the gun in place, but it's oh. not the name of the Locust that operates it. Uh. Although the Locust that operates it might as well be called the Troika Gunner, but uh, we will see new varieties of enemies shortly. Just not right now. Because you see, a few of the, a few of the Locusts look uh, subtly different, like they have either uh, somewhat more bulging muscles, or perhaps even uh, uh, slightly slender, more slender builds. But uh, they all... They all, they all look pretty much in and act almost exactly the same. Thanks, man. I mean, some of them wear helmets. And helmets actually do stop bullets. Blind fire! I think we're good. Let's grab some ammo. Now, do you remember where all the ammo caches were? No. Uh, that wasn't the question. Yeah, commands tried everything, but nothing works. If the locusts want to come up, they come up. I used to have nightmares about those things when I was a kid. Shit, I still do. So the locusts have been a major threat for at least the past 15 years. Yes. All Fourteen. right. Yeah. That's more than enough time in war in order, like actually, in order to actually in order to actually get a uh, get a locust and Phoenix, research them enough to right. actually Dominic incorporate a, a right, successful sir. defensive strategy, it, especially for humans who are well known for their adaptability in wartime. Uh, gentlemen, this is our most act accurate autopsy report of the locust. We have confirmed that in fact, yes, if you pluck off their heads, they will die uh, immediately. That is the extent of our knowledge. Um. Okay. How about any of their any of their you know battle tactics that they like to repeatedly use? Well, I'll give you an example because this game doesn't talk about it, but it becomes immediately clear in the second game. Jacinto is the name of the last major human stronghold in this game, which they do not mention for the entirety of Years One, which is why I'm talking about it now. Jacinto has a base that is impervious to the digging tactics of the Locust, so the Locust can't actually dig into Jacinto. Alright. Now do they do this by making it a flying fortress? No, it's on the ground. It's just, it has a really solid base. Um... That really shouldn't stop them. We've seen the Spider Demon already. The Spider Demon should be able to break through that. No, Gerda, you don't understand. It's... It's really solid. I promise. I love doing that. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then you're blinded for half a second. So if anyone else is shooting at you, you're screwed. Yeah, um, the chainsaw is. Stop destroying uh, the priceless couches. <laughs> I must buy things. Um, the chainsaw is most useful to take out enemies that jump over cover because when enemies jump over cover, especially when they jump directly into your path, they are unable to defend themselves until they complete the jump animation. My God, Marcus is uh, Marcus is so evil that when he walks up to couches, they die. <laughs> he destroys all furniture. Fuck you, Darkseid. I'm Marcus Phoenix. Oh, look, it's a checkpoint. Good thing they put a checkpoint here because I fucking hate this section. Yeah, none of your weapons actually have that good of uh, range, uh, have that good of accuracy at long range because they're all semi they're all semi automatic slash full auto first. Oh, look, I can zoom in a little bit with the pistol. Yeah, but honestly, you're not in, the, in a good spot to actually snipe down the one guy. You're never in a good spot in this in this freaking place because the only times you have a chance to fight the Troika is when you're vulnerable to the Troika. Right. 
and you can't. Can you lob a grenade up up, up onto the balcony? I could if I had enough time to throw it because Marcus unfortunately has to complete the fucking throwing animation in order to throw grenades. And you have no grenades left. All my squad mates are down. First of all, your squad mates are down. But the Troika didn't kill them. It wounded them. I'm not sure how to proceed. Um, from here, you should probably go behind the boiler. Kim, I... I know you can't die, that's why you haven't died yet. Um... No, Locust, I refuse. Kim indicated that I'm supposed to take out the guy in the window first for reasons. Slowly but surely. At this long a range, you uh, uh, you really should have you know a, like a single shot rifle. A single shot rifle would solve a lot of your problems right now. I don't think I've encountered any rifles up to this point. Of course not. Mm. Gratuitous violence in a chainsaw means that all of your all of your rifles are like full auto. <laughs> I wish. They they use bolt action rifles in this game. They want to drive home the point that this universe is some kind of fusion of new and old. Especially intense orchestral music. Kick. I'm a gonna get you, get in my chainsaw. <laughs> Where did you go? Alright, you got down the trick of support. Now I might actually be able to revive my fucking squad mates. Finally. Nades. Because actually, trying to revive your squad mates is not recommended. It creates a hazard because they fucking got down in range of the Troika. Mm. To be honest, the chainsaw does not appear to be that effective of a weapon, especially because it gives away your position with the black smoke and loud sounds. Well, the enemies always know where I am. That's Just true, that but, it's, you know, yeah. for realistic war times, you would not actually want to use the Lancer's chainsaw. Especially from a distance. Okay, now I start reviving people to give the remaining locusts more targets. Pick up the wine bottle and throw it at them. This is cheap wine. Eat Jack Daniels. Is that it? Did I do it? Yep. We got locusts coming through. I hate this section, because even if I died at this point, I would have to redo the entire sequence all over again. Yeah, but with the access to the Troika turret, you should be okay. Scratch it, the Troika turret is fucking inaccurate as all hell, too. It's easier to get the shots when you zoom in by holding the left trigger button. Then it concentrates fire on it more on a single point. Getting shot through the Troika, goddammit. Stop shooting me. There, he's deaded. He might be deaded. Good job, men. Now let's go find that resonator. Move oh yeah, remember that checkpoint that I mentioned? This is a big mistake. I got stunned. And I'm dead. You have been made deaded. Load last checkpoint. Load last checkpoint. I'm gonna skip it because fuck everything. Oh, that's the end of the video.